Hi, my name is Anthony Dyer and I work for Sodexo Corporate Services and I work at AstraZeneca at Two Pancras Square in London. How do walls like this support young talent? I believe that it shows that there's opportunity, there's growth and also there's a chance to learn skills and gain knowledge within the, within the catering industry. I think personally Ace Robin has shown me and bought coaching, management and growth to the forefront when I manage my team day to day and also other teams within my unit and also outside my unit. When I visit sites, I can see how other sites are managed and I can take things from them that I think will work at my site. That whole revolution of every day as a school day, I think is the perfect saying for that. Um, you learn every day on this job, uh, no matter how old you are, how young you are, um, or what your role is within the industry. What are the biggest challenges for the contract catering industry this year? So I think we're still dealing with a backlash from COVID. Um, and this is to a, a number of things. I think recruitment is one um, that is a real struggle um, within catering and contract catering. It's not just the quantity of people that we've got in the pool, it's about the quality. And I think Brexit has took its toll on this um, because we used to have a pool of European talent which was available to us, uh, which is now sort of shrunk down because people haven't come back to the industry also. So this creates uh, a huge problem f throughout the industry, um, from coffee shops, to fast food, to restaurants, to hotels, to contract catering. I think this, this also leads on into another impact this year is sustainability and trying to eradicate single-use plastic from the industry, with new laws shortly to come in around this as well, which are gonna ensure that we are keep into this and we're ensuring that we're doing it day to day. This, this also leads on into um, inflation. So you've got the, the cost of living crisis currently. Um, this also is reflecting in wages on why people might not come to the industry as well, uh, because it doesn't pay enough at times in some roles you know, and we have to try and match what our competitors in other industries are doing. Hotels, restaurants, fast food chains, coffee shops. And then this leads on to the cost of energy, the cost of produce. This all has an adverse impact um, and it is having a massive impact this year throughout the food industry and also for myself in a unit. And back to the sustainability piece, we have to make sure we're using future 50 ingredients, um, and we're ensuring we're using all the ingredients, you know, we're cutting wastage um, as much as possible. And then I think that it leads into also the global warming piece. If you get a bad season, you know, if the growers have a bad season, the prices come up. So this creates an adverse effect and it just, it's, it's a domino effect through the industry. And then you just, it's constant, constant cost.